morning one and all and welcome back to the research program organized by faculty of social sciences uh, indeed it's a great occasion for us to interact with you all uh, to guide you mentor you uh, there are eminent uh, social scientists from the different prestigious universities who are going to take sessions for you so at the outset i would like to uh, welcome our dean faculty of social sciences ganda chakrapani sir and professor venkatesh sir adjunct professor department of public administration and we also welcome all the senior professors professor venkatesh varlu sir uh, to this program uh, now i request professor venkatesh sir adjunct professor as well as coordinator of this research program uh, to give a message to uh, us thank you pallavi for uh, inviting me and uh, asking me to say a few words on this occasion. I am greatly indebted to our uh, Dean Faculty of Social Sciences for uh, giving me an opportunity, an opportunity to say a few words on this occasion. Um, when we are calling a university as a university, we are supposed to have teaching, not only teaching but research also. With this purpose, we initially have uh, taken all the steps to see that. In addition to all uh, undergraduate and postgraduate programs, research programs also will be there so that uh, our teachers, those who, can, who cannot pursue their uh, research programs regularly, this university will uh, provide an opportunity for such candidates, those who are basically working and uh, for various uh, institutions, maybe on uh, project-based institutions or uh, teaching, those have taken uh, teaching as an assignment, as a career. For such kind of candidates, this is an opportunity and occasion where we are supposed to uh, learn the skills that, that is much required for you to acquire a PhD program, influence on PhD programs. So with this uh, uh, background, this is the, in fact, uh, second uh, batch after a long gap when we have basically introduced the MPhil PhD programs way back in uh, 2009 and 10 uh, for two, okay, two uh, years, successive years, and because of some reasons we could not uh, continue the programs. And uh, after that, after a lot of persuasion with the University Grants Commission, again we have taken the approval, lesser approval from the United Grants Commission and uh, the reason that uh, the open universities are not permitted to organize research programs because they thought that we don't have any regular face-to-face uh, -face kind of uh, classes, the reason why they were not permitted. But uh, we have uh, given a lot of assurances that we will take all the case so that where you are supposed to be exposed to such kind of uh, occasions and opportunities where the teachers with a uh, lot of experience will be teaching you about the methodology and all those things. And this uh, uh, one semester is mandatory. It is a compulsory for you all, for any candidate pursuing their MPhil and PhD programs. So uh, our uh, faculty also might have taken care to informing that it is a mandatory for you all. And you are supposed to attend this program, a semester program. And um, for that, we have, uh, first of all, devised a program designed in such a way that we are not giving you, not uh, giving any kind of troubles. So we have uh, split into four uh, kind of uh, sessions. One session, session is consisting of seven days duration and um, a day-long program will be organized. This is the, uh, supposed to, our dean is supposed to be inform you about all these things, what you are going to do, uh, all these things. And uh, I thank you, Professor Chakrapani. And uh, Professor Chakrapani, you know all that formerly chairman of uh, Telangana Public Service Commission and presently dean and director of uh, Center for Stock Training and Development. He has taken all the care that he has uh, contacted all the very experienced and knowledgeable uh, teachers are around the state of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and see that he has uh, taken the, their help to give you the best kind of uh, education that should go for a candidate, those who are pursuing MPhil PhD programs. With these few words, 
I and my fellow colleagues also, they are, will be here. If you feel any kind of difficulty, any problem, not only this uh, the, the, the stay that you are going to stay here for uh, seven days now, and for all kind of assistance, our uh, colleagues are there. You can also contact them, and Pallavi will be there all around. And with these few remarks, I thank you one and all. I thank you and uh, uh, all the best for you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Venkai, sir. Uh, so friends, as sir said, we are going to have uh, seven days along all the sessions. So one thing I would like to say is we can show you, we can teach you how to swim. But swimming you need to do by yourself. So research methodology is also the same, though we can give inputs and all, unless uh, you do, uh, you know, you do learn on your own and if whatever doubts you have, you have to clear in this uh, seven sessions. All the experts are here and we have a very good library to utilize. Uh, so with these few words, now I would like to uh, request uh, Ms. Harshini, a scholar from sociology department, to introduce our speaker of the first session, uh, Professor Ghanda Chakrapani sir, who is going to have, give an introductory session of uh, this MPhil and PhD program. Good morning everyone. It is such an honor for us to have Professor Ganda Chakrapani sir here right now between us, who is uh, the Dean of Social Sciences of the B.R. Ambedkar Open University and uh, Director of uh, Center for Staff Training and Development. There is no special introduction needed for sir's efforts and uh, hard work to bring the Telangana uh, separate state. And sir is also known as the former chairman for the Telangana State Public Service Commission. There are many works, uh, many more works about Sir here. Uh, okay. Sir is well known as the senior sociologist with his 30 years of experience and a distinguished journalist and a political analyst in Telugu media. Known as one of the founders of Peace Initiative Committee, convener for uh, Ceasefire Monitoring Committee and prestigious fellow of the new school, India-China Institute. Thank you so much, sir, for bestowing, coming and bestowing us with your own presence here. And I, it would be a great pleasure for us if you share a few words with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Harshini, for uh, introducing me. But I thought you'll introduce me as a teacher. Yes, sir, uh, but uh, no, generally, a teacher will prefer always to be a teacher. No, whatever you are outside and whatever you are in your, at your home, you know, that is different. Yeah, uh, thank you anyway. Uh, and also I'd like to thank uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Pallavi. Uh, she's a good organizer. You know, she identified uh, all the uh, scholars also to introduce and you know, thank, vote of thanks and everything. That is the way how you inculcate you know, uh, leadership qualities as well as you know, organization skills among your students. Uh, once again, uh, I welcome you all, uh, uh, my senior colleagues and uh, my colleagues in the faculty. As uh, Professor Rektai Garu said, this is a very important, uh, uh, important program to all the research scholars of uh, social sciences. Uh, and uh, I'm also proud to say that B. R. Ambedkar Open University is the only, maybe one of the uh, very few distance education universities uh, offering PhD program and other research programs through open and distance learning system. And uh, this is uh, second or third batch? Second. This is second batch, already uh, long back one, ba one, ba one batch. They have completed uh, you know, their uh, period also and uh, you are also nearing to uh, for completion. I think uh, two more years left already one year uh, is over, two, three years, you have to complete this. This is the first part of your uh, uh, research methodology coursework program. First part, as Rankitai sir said, you know, it will be in three parts. One part is, uh, it is to prepare all of you to go for your real term research. In this first part, we are going to tell you what is research, how you do research, and what kind of techniques and the methods are there to uh, go for research. What are the important and main components of research, like you know how to frame hypotheses and how to adapt, you know, uh, plan and everything we discuss here. 
the second part in this uh, uh, this part is uh, the second part of this program is and we also introduce you various methods of your research first part first uh, the law what we tell you is basic concepts and uh, principles of research how to plan research and how to evolve an hypothesis and how to you know uh, design your uh, entire uh, research this is one and the second is how to choose your methodology based on your topic based on your subject and based on your the nature of you know your research work you have to adapt a method there are four or five methods and those methods also discussed very elaboratively during this uh, workshop this, during this program and apart from this apart from the methods and concepts we would like to uh, make all the scholars familiar with available technologies i mean the last two days of uh, uh, this program is uh, completely dedicated to uh, uh, interact uh, with e learning resources whether it maybe it is email and you know google or you know other platforms or you know other databases like you know we uh, first time we have collaborated with the indian school of business as well and uh, they have developed you know india data portal there are several data portals and most of the data portals are uh, you know paid data portals you have to uh, pay some amount to access the data whereas we have collaborated with the uh, india data portal that is free to all our research scholars and they tell you how to use the data suppose you want to have do something you know uh, of uh, it exports of india the data may not be available you know at one place because it is not a Yeah, I mean, not not history, or neither you know uh, some other policy, but it is you no know, regularly on regular basis that data is updated and uploaded to India Data Portal. That data you can access, and similarly, you can also know how to use library and how to use other e-resources. And you know, entire world, you know, during the COVID and in the post COVID, the world completely, the knowledge of world is going to. Digitized. Everything is digitized now. I mean, there are all the libraries and you know all the research journals and many journals stopped during the pandemic, and they are not publishing and they are not printing. So what they are doing is they are uploading you know uh, in in uh, inter on internet. So all those details and all those you know uh, uh, information will be given during this uh, uh, six day seven day uh, program. This is part first part. after completion of this entire program you will be definitely able to understand what is your research the topic entity how you will proceed on it entity how can you proceed on it the meku ok idea anedi definitely after this program you will get that idea that is done and then once you able to identify your problem you can also get an idea of how to proceed to resolve that problem if you understand your topic then you will also understand after this program how to proceed for that how to proceed for that means what kind of method you should adapt what kind of technique you should adapt what kind of tools you should engage and all that you know definitely uh, after this program you will be able to get and the third aspect is what methodology is suitable to your work a methodology lo meri pan cheyochu i mean lot of methods unde our senior faculty colleagues they will definitely i mean uh, take time and you know they'll uh, give full details here as uh, my colleagues already said we have uh, engaged i think in the last meeting also me to do me the batches every time what we tell is if you cook yourself you will keep cook one or two dishes if you go to a hotel you will get you know lot more number of varieties of dishes a regular university is like you know your own uh, home your own house only you will get either chutney or pache whatever it you know that day whatever your mother or you know your wife prepares you know you have to take that but our open university we hire people from across the globe 
anybody, we, 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 I mean generally if you look at your course material and there we engage people who are the best among the available experts and we give the best to our students. Here for research methodology course also this time we have identified the best people available among the available uh, you know uh, experts and they will take classes from here. Just few names I'd like to, uh, I think we can get to I mean, uh, the program sheet is with you. I mean, they are uh, very reputed uh, in, in their uh, domain. So I think, you know, you will enjoy uh, these classes. This is, you know, formal uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, introduction about the course. And uh, my colleagues, you know, somehow they try to fix me in very difficult uh, kind of situations. You now, what they said is, you know, uh, they, today actually this uh, uh, slot is, uh, it was decided, uh, you know, to dedicate this slot to inaugural uh, session. Inaugural means, you know, everybody, they come and give you some message and it's a loose kind of uh, program. But uh, we have some very intelligent and clever uh, faculty members in our uh, faculty. What they said is there is no need of you know, any introduction, any inauguration for this because this is a class work and this is a course work. Why should we waste one, uh, one, one and a half hour? I thought, okay, it's okay. But they, they, then they said, you know, that this first class should be taken by you. I mean, definitely it's a kind of uh, uh, a test to test for my, you know, academic uh, uh, memory because uh, for the last six, six, seven, eight years, uh, I'm away from uh, academics, but I love uh, to you know share few ideas. You know, they they, they didn't give any topic uh, to me. Some introductory, uh, what is that? Introduction, introduction, introduction to you know this entire uh, program. He new journey ki oka roller. Avt ani the chhoda man. General ka roller ka tent the. It is uh, an introductory part of the drama. So the drama begins at 11.30. This is a small cut and riser and you know, small, yeah. I don't want to go into the details of uh, your classes. Anyway, the first class will be again on fundamentals of uh, uh, your research, such again. So all you know, it is collecting a new information or updating the information or understanding differently. So this is a broad, broad meaning of, you know, uh, uh, of research. Yeah, why we do research? Neno, Evrena, okay, four points, Septano. Why you are here, Just you please don't mind to raise your hands. Number one, to get a crazy doctorate degree. How many of you are, uh, you are fond of getting a degree? Or you can give me raw that 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 which attracts is that the prefix of two letters, doctor. How many of you? Please raise your hands. Doctorate kaaval ani kori katoti research lo pochnaal ani pani. You please don't hesitate to. Tell your inner feeling, right? You have to. Almost, except five, all of you. And number two, to get a very glamorous lecturer job. Lecturer job is the only glamorous field, I mean glamorous uh, profession nowadays because UGC is raising the pay scales every 10 years, very uh, huge uh, pay scale. So most of the people, I mean, that is safest, you know, we need not to do any everyday kind of assessment and, and all, it will not be there. So people are very fond of, you know, getting job as lecturer or professor. How many of you are coming here with that kind of idea? <coughs> Doctorate or lecturer or fine. Inka, sir, I have to do all the work. And how many of you are here to get new skills. Okay, sorry, it's not only one choice. 
How many of here you are here to get new skills? Only two, three. Out of forty, only three or four are here to acquire new skills. Actually, the purpose of PhD is the other way around. PhD always will give you new managerial skills. PhD ki mundu, PhD kaina tarawata, you will see a tremendous change in your personality. You will see a tremendous change in your attitude. You will see a tremendous change in your knowledge. And definitely, if all these three are paid by you or any other body, any, any other person, definitely he will be acquired certain skills. Are we anti? Then he will try to you know, discuss today. Yeah. Actually, generally, how much research is done? I mean, how many years have you been doing this? Sir, okay, until until when? 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 कुछ मन उद्योग को समझेस्तर हो, इनको तो मन प्रमोशन को समझेस्तर हो, ये दी हाईएस्ट एकेडमिक डिग्री इन द वर्ल्ड में मिलते हैं साथ संगति, तब टी ये पीएचडी अने प्रोग्राम कंप्लीट आउट आने की जनरल का कुछ थ्री स्टेप्स मन की उन्हें इनका फोर स्टेप्स है ना रो फोर अन कोच्चि थ्री अन कोच्चि पर थ्री ब्रॉड स्टेप्स Part of your entire program is coursework. Mahali wala arrangement coursework ke sahi the chundu that is very primary and fundamental aspect of coursework. UGC 2016 guidelines prakaramo you should undergo at least one semester of coursework, six months coursework. Ane di must lo onali what you know which is mentioned in your you know prospectus also. Mami kichna prospectus lo uda aje ondi. The second part, after the completion of this coursework, this first, first, first part coursework and second, second part which we want to organize maybe in the month of April. After these two courseworks, then only you are allowed or you should go to your field. In the last meeting itself, I think some of you said, you know, my thesis is ready. Or somebody said, you know, uh, we, uh, I have prepared a questionnaire. And then until and unless you complete this coursework and possess whatever the information and the knowledge and you know uh, shared by our uh, uh, colleagues here, you cannot, you may not have any idea how to explore your problem, how to explore your work. So coursework is you know very primary, and then field work is another important step. After you are part one. Now after this two spells of coursework and three spells of coursework, we conduct a, an examination that is called pre-PhD examination. If it is for uh, 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 MPhil uh, candidates, it is part one examination. Until and unless you qualify in that part one examination, you are not allowed to continue your research. You cannot submit your thesis until and unless you pass that examination. That will be conducted, you know, immediately after uh, uh, completing this uh, coursework uh, uh, your classes. And after completing your, after passing your examination, you have to visit or go for a field or something, whatever, it based on your, you know, uh, nature of your work. If it is library based, secondary data based, you can sit in the library. Or if it is field work, really going to the field and collecting the data and that work. And the, then your real research work will start. After that research work, another big, big, you know, activity and work and most of the uh, researchers where, you know, they fail is writing the thesis. Writing is altogether a different activity. Data collection, you know, is very easy. You can, you know, develop a questionnaire and uh, interview schedule and go and uh, distribute it and collect. 
after collection of that papers those papers what to do with that you have to analyze and you have to extract the data out of that sheets and then you have to put that into you know thesis writing that is that is the you know basic uh, activity of uh, 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 phd or research work let me tell you in so uh, ambedkar open university entering is very easy whether it is graduation post graduation you know will give seats and even for phd also you entered you know without that much effort without that that much effort when you compare to university of hyderabad and you know when you compare to compare to usman university and all but exit is highly difficult from here we we i i personally consider all of our students like alumnus they will come easily but while go, while going you know they face lot of difficulties lot of difficulties not because of institution the difficulty is because of unawareness of candidate student lack of knowledge lack of you know skills to inculcate those kind of skills we are taking putting this effort the classes endu pedutunnam ante we want to train you to you know know how to exit from here how to go further so these three steps are very important in a thesis etla raayalo cheppanu field work etla cheyalo cheppanu migitha ave that is not my domain next yeah fine yeah as you know timelines ami kandariki telusu already i think that maximum time limit for a phd is 5 years and mphil maybe 3 years yeah mphil is 3 years so you must aware and you must keep that timeline in your mind unless and until it alarm bell is inside your mind to remind the timeline you will come on the last day of fourth year and will say you please extend one more year even university may extend one year but definitely not five years or two years or three years so you have to take uh, you you have to keep that in your mind and you have to proceed accordingly next the study schedule will be you know i think you know the course uh, uh, work schedule and study schedule will be uh, like this i think that is there in your you uh, know how many research how many papers will be there you know how many marks you should get and when will be the examinations of part 1 and after which just now you know i explained you know all of it next and after this i don't think you don't have exam definitely you will have Uh, uh, examination. That's why, as I said, you know, for Danlo, I exam lo not 35 percent marks. You should pass with 50 percent marks. Yeah, 50 percent each paper. Prati paper lo 50 percent travel. Three hours exam. Anyway, when you pay examination fees, you know you will get uh, all that. If if the pass hai, then I will mundu kare dan kunte di. Then mind lo bit kundi. Or the time schedule mind lo bit kundi. Exam mind lo bit kundi. Exam lo gora there are. Idi the the classes which we are you know offering you is to write the exams also. Not only to give the skills. To it it is a kind of you know to pass the exam also you have to carefully listen to these classes. Yeah. Next. Next. Yeah. Submitting thesis. You know you just you go back and refer you know your. Uh, prospectus you you concentrate on that first there everything is written okay then yeah. the submission of things is also after completion of your work you have to present seminars like this and you have to come here and pre submission seminar will be there and working progress seminars will be conducted organized and in pre submission seminar you have to you know uh, come up you know this kind of open uh, uh, viva system and there they will suggest something and after you have to carry the those uh, corrections then uh, uh, complete submission and uh, after submission also if the if your work is rejected by your uh, examiner it is rejected after four years of struggle if they say this is unfit this is not fit for award of degree it will be you know the same and during the period also if if you are supervisor or your department of your dean feels that you are not doing proper job your admission can be cancelled during the, it is there in your in your uh, uh, booklet also if 
you have not satisfied yeah when whatever the fees and you know other uh, university rules so that also uh, so don't think that you know admission is certificate admission is just admission okay let me tell you over over, over only 10% of the scholars are completing their work and uh, going back 90% of them are dropped out i mean dropping out uh, during the uh, course work and their uh, time they are not submitting in time as far as social sciences is concerned so please be cautious and you know be concentrate on your classes next what are the pre requisite or pre required skills meeku ye skills undali phd ayyadan you can check yourself what kind of skills you have everybody cannot uh, do phd let me tell you very frankly you may have enthusiasm you may have dream you may, may have desire you may want to have your doctorate before your name or phd two letters before name three letters after name but you should have that kind of you know certain qualities what are that uh, you know uh, uh, qualities means number 1 interest and passion interest and passion anedi matrame it will drive you to reach your goal that interest whether you have that passion or interest you must check yourself and you know adi chaala important a passion lekapothe you can't it is it's like you know my uh, i mean my understanding of you know uh, any 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 work particularly a project like phd is like you know acquiring a new skill suppose you want to you know uh, become a singer you need to practice before practice you need to understand the basics of singing basics of music swaras ragas yatis and everything whatever that you know and uh, and you should have a desire similarly for a phd also you should have that kind of uh, desire and that kind of uh, passion apart apart from this hard working nature unda phd is not like you know going uh, to class and you know having to do hours uh, chat and coming back no you need to work sometimes you know 24 hours a day or you know uh, 18 hours a day in the field work or in the library or reading the books and you know writing it and you know again uh, you know checking whether you know you are following the same line or not all this you know takes lot of uh, uh, involves lot of uh, hard work a coordination effort from text to field field to you know writing all this kind of you know uh, coordination effort is also very important to a uh, research scholar deeniki mee lokala what kind of uh, you know next what kind of skills you meek unayo meer ok sari chusukunte the purpose of phd is to answer to your questions hypothesis anandi meek question anandi research problem anandi your task is to find answers to the questions raised in your hypothesis and questions raised you know in formulation of uh, 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 the research problem that is first is you should have the ability of finding the problems i mean the, the results ability of uh, finding solutions the ability of finding solutions etlo avutadi anante searching the information and checking the facts and thesis antithesis synthesis ane edaithe cheptunnaru mee classes lo adi kuda vastundi danni aa direction lo ee jaldi kavalsina vaatlallo number 1 searching for the information you should have a zeal to search everything searching for the information is the first level course work lo jaragalsindi adi and attentive attention to detail that searching also not google searching every detail aspect you know you have to you should be able to you know uh, search you no know, so not simple uh, searching suppose you search it for something and there is i mean there it is mentioned that economic growth of india is minus 4% and economic growth of uh, telangana is plus 7% you have to again you no know, that is not enough why it is minus 4% and you go and verify for the last 4 years what happened and which sectors are growing and which are not growing and in telangana how it achieved you know 7% and what are the sectors contributing for growth 
do this kind of detailed search and detailed information uh, 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 attention attention to details and it's very important and not just searching not just you know finding the data and noting is very important every researcher in 30 years back i'm telling you two decades back they used to carry huge notebooks you know, long books whatever they see whatever they observe whatever they perceive whatever they know during the field work they used to note everything in that long notebooks you know that kind of that is known as research diary if you if you look at the conventional research methodology books you will find you know that is also very important uh, in social research maintaining a research diary what you, whatever you have referred and whatever wherever you go in i visited so and so library in that library so and so book is good and that, that book is so and so authored and so and so printer and so and so here it is published in that you know so and so page this information is there so internet cannot provide you all this kind of you know background information it will only store until and unless you are expert in using it anyway that that also we are going to discuss and that is very important and that very 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 important you know another aspect is time management because you are into a time machine now from today onwards it is this this session is for 7 days and after that again we will give some break you know, for one week one month or so again you know 7 days and again we will give some break maybe you know continuously we can have that uh, course work of your uh, area of research also and then your mission starts and you have to run against the time within the two years or one year whatever the time you fix and you have to complete the task if you pass the time your admission will be cancelled there is no readmission policy i believe again and again we cannot take so this time management is very important whatever that you know you fixed okay next day next week one week where we are going to library you have to go to library if you miss that uh, slot i think you you won't get it again so time ma ma management is very important and problem solving of course you know, we will discuss this further also problem solving uh, issue and because during this work in this two two years of field work or library work you will get lot of other problems lot of problems and how to resolve those problems in the time and time to time your uh, i mean uh, during the sessions uh, we, you can discuss uh, you know that also and communicating the result okay you will get lot of information you will read more and more you will collect lot of thousands of you know uh, questionnaires data then how to organize the data how to communicate it synthesize it into a dissertation form that is highly skillful work where lot of people ending up their uh, you know activity and work there so you please keep this in mind and next and for this you should have you know very few uh, 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 qualities like this you have to definitely you should uh, uh, inculcate the, the, these kind of activities next ikkada maniki i mean lot of earlier originally social science research is uh, evolved uh, you know basic social sciences like anthropology psychology sociology but after organization networks set up and you know multinational companies and you know business and you know is uh, earlier knowledge was you know ruled the world now market is ruling the world so when knowledge rule is na pudu we used to discuss only knowledge part you know how to gain knowledge and what is the philosophy what is that that's why it's called doctor of philosophy so highest level of knowledge but now believe me 80% of these tools i mean social science research is useful to market and market and business you know like our colleague ravindranath salman the management uh, companies are using social science research not social science companies social science organizations social science research is used in extensive different forms in management i mean now management people are expertise in social science research because every day from one product they are releasing one they are conducting a pro i mean a research and organizational behavior they are conducting a research nature they are conducting a research and every aspect of human interaction management is uh, totally in fact you know acquired all the uh, social science research techniques and methods and they are applying these techniques and methods to assess the performance of 
workers, assess the performance of markets, assess the performance of companies also. Same tools. However, however, good qualities of a researcher, I mean, it's not friendly with respondents. Yesterday we had a discussion in our faculty. There, one of the senior colleagues you know, said, you know, we should not just confine to, you know, bookish information, because our students, our learners, our, you know, our, our uh, scholars are uh, coming from different backgrounds. So, and moreover, this is a social science. For a science person, you need not to have friendly with respondents. In the case, science no respondents are under. Respondents, sodium, potassium, manganese, or, you know, some rock or something, or some, you know, uh, uh, animal, maybe like that. But here, you are dealing with people. You are, you, are, you are interacting with society, you are interacting with culture, you are interacting with, you know, groups. You should be always friendly with them. You may be this mark on at your place, but in a new place, you are a no mark, no mark on. You are not at all a con, right? Tabati, you must be very friendly, polite with everybody. And Least discouragement. Chalamandhi ko attitude hai mundhada. Whatever you say, they discourage you. Hare bas, we will do something. Ah, they put it like that. Gane ka da, they attract like that. I mean, you should not, you know, have that kind of perception. That mind is very bad. If somebody is, you know, you, you must encourage, you know, that least discouragement kind of uh, attitude is very dangerous, you know, uh, in research. In fact, researchers should be neutral. You should not have that quality of, oh, what is it, 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 no, it's it, it's not. You must be neutral. Just as you have to observe everything. If something is saying about some, some, some issue, suppose some history, you know, fellow is doing some research on Usmana uh, Likha. Somebody is, you know, you are interviewing somebody. He is glorifying Usmana Likha. You don't disturb him, let him speak. Let him tell whatever he want to tell about uh, Usman Ali Khan. No, suddenly you are a Hindu mind, you know, uh, become conscious and say, no, 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 how can you say Usman Ali Khan good? He is, you know, very nasty fellow. He is not I mean, that kind of attitude will damage your, you know, uh, data collection capability or interaction with, uh, you know, people. And he also must be free from prejudice. Manu chala prejudice into everybody. You know, for me also, I will have a lot of prejudice and, you know, issues. But you must be free whenever, whenever you are in field or whenever you are collecting the data. The information about the mindset that you put out in the first part, I am talking about mind only. And also, capacity of depth information. You should store information. You must be reservoir of that information. And the main of the matter, first you complete this class and you go for library, go to library and you know, gather whatever the secondary sources and observe them and then go to field. When you are doing research on Kamrambhim uh, of Vajrabad, just, you know, watching uh, Rajana and uh, RRA is not, not, not uh, you know, worth. With that information, you cannot. You have to go and verify what happened in the history when Kamrambhim revolted against Nizam. Kamrambhim never travelled to Delhi to fight with British. No, because <laughs> Vijayendra Prasad took one daughter to Delhi. And in search of that daughter, you know, now, Kumarabhim went to Delhi and he met with Sitara Maharaj. I mean, this is information is not at all. You have to collect complete reservoir and, you know, fill that reservoir in your mind and then only you should go and interact with uh, people. And the second aspect is accuracy. You must be accurate. When you are doing your research on Kumarabhim, in 1974 when Kumarabhim came, in 1974 Kumarabhim was not there. You must be accurate about the dates and history. Or when uh, Chandrababu Naidu introduced two rupees kilo, uh, rice, no? Chandrababu Naidu didn't introduce any rice. In fact, he dragged all the rice and he cancelled all the schemes. So you must be, or any, any topic, whatever the topic you are you know, going to work, you, you should be accurate on those. And also not only accurate, you must be truthful. Because until and unless you prove you are a truthful, you are a biased, you are biased. Your entire work will spoil. And the famous, uh, you know, uh, sociologist, Amen Srinivas, during his work of Rampura, 
Rampurana? Gambur. Suddenly he struck somewhere. So I never could have I am not justifying my research because I am studying on my own society. He belongs to that village. He wants to study on his village. And moreover, he is a Brahmin. Everybody respects him. And everybody gives, you know, Munasabachi, I mean, that way is not correct. After that, of course, he wrote a beautiful book, Why We Should Not Study Your Own Village. I mean, that kind of uh, uh, book. I'm not a fair book. So, I bias not a bias. I'm truthful. I'm not a data. So, you must. I'm not a data. I'm not a data. I'm not a data. Wala Ide Dautuna. That may influence that kind of, you know, uh, proximity with that topic may influence your thought process. If that is influenced, you may be biased. If you are biased, definitely any biased person cannot be truthful. If you are not truthful, your work is gone. So be unbiased and be truthful and very, very important part of. Uh, characteristic of research is keen observation level. You must observe each and everything. Very keen in observation. In, particularly those who are going for the field works, whether it is organization, whether it is a political system, whether it is a tribal hamlet, or whether it is a religious place like Charnar and Muslim area of you know, Makkah Masjid. Each and every detailed shade you must observe. What is happening? How they are moving? What? No, by 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 the steps, you know, by the, the that if you observe the moment, how you know dedicated they are. How, everything you can perceive out of that. You know, so for for researcher, observation and it is very uh, uh, very very important, and it must be careful also. And you you must be careful in listening also. Earlier, we used to go for field works. Field work means literal field work. Carrying a bag where you know a small tape recorder and research diary and you know camera and everything with that entire bag. I think you know if you refer old books, you will find a research kit. With that research kit, we used to go there. And what we used to do is we, uh, after stitching on your uh, tape recorder, again we used to write everything. Once you listen directly from the mouth of your respondents, it will be registered. Not only that, you must record that if your memory may, you know, misguide you. You, are, you may not that 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 uh, curious and you may not that attentive while listening. So you noting down and listening carefully is very very important. Uh, very very important. And it's all the management theorists say you should have less common sense. Research level you should not use common sense. The common sense which you have is not common to them. In, in social science research, common sense means the sense you perceive from society. You have perceived this common sense from your society. You cannot apply the same common sense there. So you must have very low common sense, only sense you believe. Sense means the basic of all scientific method is sense. Whatever perceived by your sensory organs, by seeing, by talking to them, by, listen, by listening to them, that only considered as information and knowledge as far as research is concerned. So, out of curiosity, if you know everything and you should not, you don't try to teach them. You must understand to listen to them. That is another, uh, another important uh, uh, characteristic. And economical also, it must be very economical. And when we research, we tribal area, we research, we have to do a car, we have to do a car, we have to do a car, we have to do a And money also, I mean, in the field work, a lot of money is out there. Suppose one theory or one quotation or one small information. 
ఒక నాలుగు వందల ఆరు వందల రూపాయలు ఖర్చు పెట్టాను ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ యూ కెన్ విజిట్ ద లైబ్రరీ వేర్ దట్ బుక్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ అండ్ సీట్ దే అండ్ మేక్ నోట్స్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ దట్ ఐ మీన్ మనీ ఇస్ ఐ మీన్ స్పెండింగ్ మనీ యూ మస్ట్ డూ ఇట్ వెరీ కేర్ఫుల్లీ ఐ మీన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు నోట్ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ ఐ నో ఎట్లయితే కామన్ సెన్స్ ని లోగా యూజ్ చేయాలో అట్లాగే ఈ సోషల్ డిసప్రూవల్స్ విషయంలో కూడా సొసైటీ ఏదైతే నుంచి పోయి అక్కడ సిగరెట్ రావుతాం అనుకుందాం ఒక ఫారెస్ట్ లో యూ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ సమ్ వర్క్ రీసెర్చ్ సపోజ్ చేసే డోంట్ కన్స్యూమ్ నో డోంట్ స్మోక్ నా ఇష్టం అని అంటే లేదు జనరలీ ఫారెస్ట్ ఏరియాస్ ఐ థింక్ మీరు ద ఎంటైర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఆఫ్ భీమ్నాయక్ భీమ్రా నాయక్ ఇస్ దట్ వెన్ రూల్ ఇస్ దేర్ ద ప్రాక్టీస్ దే ఇస్ దేర్ ఎ కస్టమ్ ఇస్ దేర్ యూ మస్ట్ రెస్పెక్ట్ నేను రీసెర్చర్ ని నేను హౌ కెన్ యూ రెస్ట్రిక్ట్ మీ దట్ ఈస్ హిజ్ డొమైన్ అండ్ హిజ్ సొసైటీ అండ్ హిజ్ రూల్ హిజ్ కల్చర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఫాలో ఆల్ సచ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ స్కిల్స్ యూ మస్ట్ బి ఎక్స్పర్ట్ ఇన్ యువర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఈ రిజర్వాయర్ అనేది మైండ్ లో ఉంటే సరిపోదు రిజర్వాయర్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ రియల్ నాలెడ్జ్ వెన్ యూ ఎగ్జిబిట్ దట్ నాలెడ్జ్ వెన్ యూ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ దట్ నాలెడ్జ్ when you apply that knowledge then only you will be considered as a knowledgeable person knowledgeable person ante 70000 pustakalu jarigina kabatti i am knowledgeable anadanki ledhu how you are using that knowledge for the welfare of society for the benefit of yourself for improvement of your status or how that knowledge janaye daniki test rational is social acceptance etla dani వాడుతున్న అనేది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇది కూడా మీరు గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి అండ్ డోంట్ గివ్ ఎనీ హేస్టీ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ ద ఫీల్డ్ హేస్టీ స్టేట్మెంట్ అంటే డినేయింగ్ దేర్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఆల్సో యూ షుడ్ నాట్ డౌ దే మే బి రాంగ్ ఎప్పుడైనా ఎనీ కన్వర్జేషన్ ఎనీ ఇంటర్వ్యూ యూ మస్ట్ లిజన్ టు దెమ్ కేర్ఫుల్ దట్స్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆల్సో డోంట్ ట్రై టు కరెక్ట్ దే అండ్ డోంట్ బి హేస్టీ ఇన్ డూయింగ్ దట్ just think yourself you know this is his practice suppose somebody is practicing you know uh, uh, some untouchability in uh, some village you are studying on dalit issue and you know and somebody is helping you and you know uh, he is taking care of you you cannot say all your villagers are you know very uh, fools they practice untouchability don't be hasty maybe not everybody is practicing the persons whom you interacted during your interview they only practice so don't be so uh, i mean uh, hurry in giving uh, such statements and you should be very good at conversation conversation lekunda information ra in particularly in social sciences prashna adiga vaadu 10 prashnalu 10 rakalaga adigithane vaallu koncham answer chestunnaru నువ్వు జస్ట్ నో లైక్ దీనిలాగా మిషన్ లాగా అడగడానికి లేదు యూ మస్ట్ ఎంకరేజ్ దెమ్ టు ఆన్సర్ యూ మస్ట్ ముచ్చట పెడతామంటారు కదా అండ్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ సెన్స్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ యూనో కన్వర్జేషన్ కెపబిలిటీస్ దే ఆర్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పర్టికులర్లీ ఇన్ సోషల్ సైన్స్ రీసెర్చ్ ఇఫ్ సంబడి ఈస్ డూయింగ్ యూనో ఆన్ గడీస్ ఆఫ్ మహబూబ్ నగర్ ఆర్ గద్వాల్ హౌ యూ డూ దట్ మేబీ నో సమ్ బుక్ సంథింగ్ ఈస్ దేర్ యూ రైట్ దట్ నో you have to meet those you know older generation people of that dynasty or you know that uh, lineage and you have to discuss with them agar bhai meru cheppandi me tata garu peru mamma itla kaadu you want to listen to their grander picture of the grander story of their samsthan or their family or their lineage you are you should ask them motivate them to narrate the whole history ఒక మనిషితోటి కంప్లీట్ హిస్టరీని నరేట్ చేయాలంటే ఈ క్వశ్చన్ అడిగేవాడు కూడా అంతకంటే గొప్ప నరేటర్ అండ అదర్వైజ్ యూ కాంట్ మేక్ దెమ్ టు నరేట్ అదర్వైజ్ యూ కాంట్ ప్రొవోక్ దెమ్ టు నరేట్ ఐ మీన్ దట్ ఈస్ దట్ కన్వర్జేషన్ స్కిల్ ఈస్ హైలీ హైలీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ పర్టికులర్లీ ఫర్ హిస్టరీ అండ్ నేను అదర్ సోషల్ సైన్సెస్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ you must know the terminology and meaning of the terminology what you are using 
ड्यूरिंग दट कन्वर्जेशन जस्ट कन्वर्जेशन का वेर वाड़े टपड़े प्रश्न डे टपड़े मी को ये आंसर का वालो दानी करने को ना क्या टर्मिनोलॉजी ने बाढ़ा आई मीन दैट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट सो यू हैव टू कीप ऑल दिस इन माइंड एंड अगेन यस यू मस्ट बी ट्रेन्ड इन यूजिंग द रिसर्च टूल्स दिस व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर ट्रेनिंग यू टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल दिस एंड आल्सो अडाप्ट अ राइट रिसर्च स्किल रिसर्च स्किल्स रिसर्च टूल ये टूल्स को भी छोड़ते लोग वाले बिलीव मी इफ यू रीड ओल्ड आंथ्रोपोलॉजी रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी सोशियोलॉजी रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी एंड रूरल पार्टिसिपेशन यू नो रिसर्च ये थिंग्स योर ड्रेस आल्सो मैटर्स मेरे कड़ा फील्ड वर्क जैसे सुना रहने देने बंटी आ आ परिस्थितों को भिन्नांगा उन्हें डालने के लिए व्हेन यू आर ट्रैवलिंग व्हेन यू आर नो मीटिंग ए डिफरेंट कल्चरल सेटअप यू हैव टू एटलिस्ट नो नियर टू देयर कल्चरल पैटर आर ड्रेसिंग लोग हैं ये लोग टाइगर टको नहीं बूटलेस को नहीं टक्कीज को नहीं कर्ला दाल बिट को नहीं नॉलेज कर्ला दाल बिट को नहीं वो ट्रैवल देख रहे हो भाई पर मैन एंड वाटर डूइंग है अनानो अन को नहीं पर मैन वाटर डूइंग है अनानो वाटर जो यू मस्ट एक्वेयर नो वेर वेर यू आर गोइंग इट वे हुम यू आर मीटिंग एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ इंटरैक्शन यू आर आई मीन हाउ यू आर एंगेजिंग दे इट दिस इज वेरी यू नो इम्पोर्टेंट एंड आल्सो ऑफ कोर्स यू नो फाइनली इक्विटी जस्टिस एंड इंक्लूसिव इन सोशल रिसर्च यू मस्ट फॉलो दिस एज ए बाइंडिंग प्रिंसिपल अनबायस्ड का उन्नाव लेंटे यू मस्ट फॉलो नो दिस प्रिंसिपल and also you should not eliminate one part suppose you are studying a village some village or some you know uh, pochampalli budan pochampalli weavers only you go and uh, interact with that middleman and some society head and you collect the data you write with uh, saying you know budan pochampalli is uh, weavers uh, condition is improved for e level nunchi level ku vachesi believe me still there uncovered untouched uh, uh, excluded lot is there those who are not part of this uh, society they are suffering a lot the supplies are only for government uh, to government to that societies those who are members not members of that society they are totally excluded from this development and they are not getting anything and still they are committing suicides and all so when you are conducting research you must be very uh, Inclusive, inclusive वा उन्ना. All these are the challenges. General ला मेर 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 ये ये बारम रोज़ रोज़ you will get all these doubts and uh, you will get you know uh, face all these challenges. Number one is difficulty in hypothesis formulation. Most of the researchers fail due to the you know hurriness in formulating hypothesis. हमले formulating the hypothesis is dreaming your future. Hypothesis is just a dream, just an idea. If you dream your future wrongly, if you go by your dream, you will end up in wrong place. So formulation of hypothesis and it is very 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 important. Is uh, it? So that is very uh, the problem. Second, I could have said just now. And uh, framing question. What I just now? Here we question this question. Now, here we question. Now, what is personal details? I mean that is very problematic. Ma'am, please go. That is very problematic. You you should not be hurry and that hurry in formulating questionnaire. Formulating questionnaire reflects your total thesis, total research. So while formulating, because you have to plan the questions according to your chapters, you gather information according to that. So it is very very scientifically you have to formulate questionnaire, right? And the third is. depending on others always 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 we depend on your supervisor or somebody else or your headmaster in the school or your principal in college no no that is not their research that is your research they only supervise your activity work so you you cannot you know you should not do that and depend on and problem identification chaala mandi after you know half a way of their uh, work they come back and you know say sir i want to change the topic after one or two years i mean it is highly impossible but that's why 
you must be careful while choosing the topic uh, itself, at, at the beginning itself. You will be encouraged by someone or you do this uh, PhD on this, there are, finally there will not be, you know, that, uh, I mean, worth of strength in that PhD topic. No, that is also, uh, that kind of problems also you face. And difficulty in designing. That's why you must be careful in listening. The entire coursework, where we explain everything in detail uh, in research designing and everything. Of course, a lot of stability, a lot of transport, communication, even after you know, listening to all of you uh, when you uh, join, nobody is taking this kind of you know, serious uh, topics. Everybody is roaming around, you know, this office, that office, this NGO, that NGO. You are not going for real field. I don't think this is a problem for you. Okay. But believe me, whenever, wherever you go, you must know that, you know, entire uh, issues in and around, you know, uh, those. And of course, you know, in, uh, in old, uh, good old days, you know, lack of food, lack of transport, lack of other systems, researchers used to face different uh, problems. And particularly, whenever you are into a different religious context, or different caste context, you must be careful while, you know, asking your questions and understanding. Otherwise, you will not uh, get any information and any data. Fine, you know, I see all of you very fond. PhD is your goal, doctorate. But recent management studies, you know, that's why I said, you know, now, nowadays social science research methodology is not exactly not, you know, confined to only social sciences. Management extensively using that. Recently, there uh, you know, a big study conducted by you know global uh, business uh, management companies. They earlier PhD until only as you said as we discussed in the first half. Why you are doing PhD? If you ask somebody, no, I want to become a lecturer, lecturer, or professor, or university. But believe me, recently all multinational companies and good HR companies and good Indian companies. They are preferring PhDs for top management positions. Whether it is what is that social responsibility scheme, whether it is HR scheme, <coughs> not pure management. It's a social science background uh, researchers. They are preferred a lot. There are several studies for that. Why they prefer? As I said in my last option. Are you for uh, uh, doctorate ka, promotion ka, din ka? If you are a serious researcher, you will get a set of transferable skills. Nowadays, management and you know other humanities and social sciences are using skill sets at different uh, you know uh, levels. Skill is not just skill possessed by you for your satisfaction. That is one set of skill. Or skill which you possess with you and you satisfy others. That skill also is a skill. Skill ante niku nuvu excel ki, that is a skill. Skill ante again to entertain others or to please others or to make others happy, that is another skill. And there are skills which possessed by a person and transferred to the society and organization. They are called transferable skills. And the study says, if a person really worked hard and completed his PhD, doctorate, he will get a set of skills which can be transferable to organization and society. And out of that, that society will benefit. And that society is enlightened. Shows the transferable skills, transferable skills, and then the other one is a transfer to, from academics to society, your knowledge to society. Suppose I am a dancer, I dance for myself, my, my enjoyment, and I also dance for others because others also enjoy it and others also play, you know, feel. But certain skills, they don't only really just stop there during the performance and it will improve the, you know, and uh, that transfer skills text or you know uh, all the uh, market and the society and uh, you know everybody uh, next yeah these are the uh, skills 
after the completion of your PhD, uh, I hope and you know, uh, of course, you know, entire studies are expecting and uh, studies are pre predicting uh, every successful PhD doctorate will possess this kind of uh, skills. Again, in reverse way, they found in the results also. That is attention to detail. A person of uh, just management uh, training, he may not be that attentive compared to a person who possesses a doctorate and you know who worked with the society, interacted with the society, because he know the, you know, he practiced the training of listen to audience carefully, listen to your respondents carefully. So management, sir, I mean, overall uh, assessment is this man is better than the fresh uh, management person and accelerator learning. I mean, for a PhD person, after, you know, trained and, you know, after uh, understand everything, he will get those kind of skills. He learn very systematically and very easily and very in simple way and adaptability. A young man of, uh, you know, business school may not be that adaptive when, uh, you know, uh, they went to uh, go to a field to collect the data comparatively when a who, uh, research minded person and who got experience and exposure to the research and definitely this man is showing you know the, the show a better uh, ability uh, in adapting you know uh, to the situation and uh, uh, condition ability to collaborate we got my point to the after phd you will get a kind of you know uh, personality where you will be able to collaborate collaborate means not you know agreement collaborate with other set of people, other uh, you know, uh, colleagues and other uh, social things. And critical thinking analysis, this is, you know, obviously it should come. Critical thinking and analytical skills like what you cannot, I mean, uh, a, a good, uh, a, be a good researcher. And communication skills also definitely will improve. You have to read and write communication skills and data analysis, uh, 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 leadership, and you know logic and uh, you know uh, deduction, deduction, induction with Yaptar, and system building, and uh, you know uh, writing proficiency. If any good, improve out there. And at what is the basic and fundamental uh, observation uh, after studying the personalities of candidates, those who have completed PhDs. Just you know, I I wanted to uh, present this because. My faculty, they didn't give any topic to me. Just they said, you know, you interact with the... So I tried to, you know, collect some information which is not covered in our regular uh, classes and day-to-day -day classes. So thank you very much uh, for uh, listening. Uh, yes, we'll be here for the entire week. Uh, whenever we find some time, we can interact further. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Handa Chakrapani, sir for your elaborative uh, throwing light on the different aspects on the research and uh, setting the tone for this uh, workshop for the coming seven days. Now I request uh, Ms. Kaniz uh, Fatima from the Department of uh, Department of Library and Information Science to propose formal vote of Good morning, everyone. Um, sir, if you permit, I can I speak to a few words before giving vote of uh, Last time when we were here uh, for the orientation program, it was such an uh, such a wonderful experience we had because comparing to my university, uh, which does orientation program to the students at DFP University, uh, that was a kind of uh, you know fear, fearing kind of experience for the students. And formally, I thank everyone here on, on behalf of students. Uh, we thank Chakrapani sir, uh, Dean School of Social Sciences and Director Center for staff training and development. I thank Professor, Professor Venkataya and all our teachers here present. And I thank all of you, my uh, co-researchers. Thank you, Venkataya.